I welcome the researchers, scholars, students, and the scientists all over the world. This is Advanced, Advanced Multiple YouTube channel. Advanced Multiple Incorporation actually a knowledge processing and information management organiza organization that is uh, located in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. My name is Dr. Taha Nazir. I'm working as scientific executive with Intellectual Consortium of Drug Discovery and Technology Development in Incorporation. Okay, well, I'm going to share my knowledge, my experience, and my information and research under the title of Introduction, Structure, and Application of Monoclonal Antibodies. For this purpose, I collected the information and scientific data from different sources like Medline, PubMed, Scoopers, then Google Scholar, National Library of Medicine, MBES, Directory of Open Access Journal, ProtoQuist, CNKI, that is stands for, for China, National Knowledge Infrastructure, some information collected from cross and research here. Before moving forward, I would like to talk a little bit about antibodies. An antibody or immunoglobulin is Y-shaped protein produced by the beta cells that is used by the immune system to identify and neutralize the foreign object. Foreign object means that maybe the toxins, maybe the chemical, maybe the viruses, any kind of the foreign body is considered as foreign object and that is considered uh, as toxin or uh, antigen. Okay, then an antibody produced by a single clone of cell called as monoclonal antibodies. Antibody are secreted by a type of the white blood cells called as plasma cell. Each antibody recognized a specific antigen unique to its target. So monoclonal antibodies are identical because of their produce by one type of the immune cell. Antibody therapy used to, to directly kill the target cell. Ta target cell means that maybe the bacteria, maybe the viruses, maybe the some particular chemical entity inside the body. So this is the regular structure of antibody it comprised of uh, two main chain heavy chain and light chain and uh, two main parts or uh, two main component the first one is the variable second one is the constant the constant part of the antibody that stay constant it is not be changed chemically because it have to maintain the structure and integrity of the antibody and variable structure is called as variable because it changes its chemistry, its nature, its orientation all the time because it has to capture or attach with different kind of the antigen. A single antibody is able to kill so many different kind of the antibodies or ant antigens. A single antigen having the competency or ability to get attached all different kind of the antigens or the toxin to kill and destroy them, including viruses, including the cancer cells, including the bacteria. So this is uh, another structure of the antibody. We know that antibody comprised of the two main chain, light chain and heavy chain. They bind together by the disulfide dis bond. And the lower part of the antibody is the constant segment or con constant part. Upper upper one is variable. Variable part is variable because it have to bind to all different kind of the antigen to kill and destroy them. Now I would like to talk a little bit about the structure of an antibody molecule. The FAB domain, FAB stands for the fragment antigen binding. The FAB domain mediates the binding of the immunoglobulin to their cognate antigen. Each chain in the FAB domain has variable and constant region. So variable region contain the hyper variable and complementarity determining region that is stands for uh, CDR. The contact residue reside in the CDR. The heavy and light chain variable contain three CDR each. So all six CDR combined to form the antigen binding pockets. CDR3 play a dominant role. The FC, FC stand for the fragment crystalline domain define the different isotypes of immunoglobulin. FC fragments specify other biological activity of the molecule and determine how an antibody mediate its effector function. Okay, well, now I would like to talk a little bit about uh, types of the monoclonal antibodies developed or designed all over the world. There are the three main types of the monoclonal antibodies, murine source and monoclonal antibodies, 
then chimeric monoclonal antibodies and humanized monoclonal antibodies. Neural source monoclonal antibodies actually the rodent antibodies with excellent affinity and uh, specificity generated using conventional hybrid hybridoma technology. The clinical efficacy compromised by the HEMA, the human anti-murine antibodies response, which lead to allergic or immune, immune complex hypersensitivities. Chimeric monoclonal antibodies, chimeric combine the human constant region with intact rodent variable region, affinity and specificity unchanged, also cause human anti-chimeric antibody response, approximately 30% murine resource. Well, the last type of the monoclonal antibodies is humanized monoclonal antibodies contain only the CDRs of the rodent variable region grafted into the human variable region framework. Okay, well, there are the seven different type of the monoclonal antibodies potentially used in different industry. The first one is the glycomodified monoclonal antibodies, then altered amino acid in constant region. The third one used different human monoclonal and antibody isotype. The fourth one is linked isotope to monoclonal antibodies with the stable linker. The fifth type of monoclonal antibody is linked drug to monoclonal antibody with cleavable linker. The sixth type is insert DNA for monoclonal antibodies variable region used to signaling peptide into the T cell to induce the expression of the CAR. The last one is the cross link region from two monoclonal antibodies. Okay, well, in conclusion, monoclonal antibodies drug become the faster growing field in the biopharmaceutics because, because of its high specificity, effectiveness, and safety profile. Monoclonal antibody drugs are widely used in the treatment of the cancer or to immune diseases that show great potential in new therapeutic area. So the reforms of multiple policies encompassing the pharmaceutical industry has gained sufficient scientific attention. The successful clinical trial, marketing, approval, and incentive for the innovative tailors has effectively increased the advantage of the development of the effective monoclonal antibody drugs. Okay, well, before leaving, I would like to salute and greet to my colleagues, Sherry Butkert, Bulk King, Daniel, Dustin Hawker, Marwa Al Maghrabi, then uh, Robert Heyman, Kunza, Noreen, Faisal, Terry Mill, Istiaq, Arslan, and Amin. The, these are my people. They are my community and my co worker. They helped me a lot to make this video today. I also acknowledge the help and support of Advanced Multiple Incorporation and Intellectual Consortium of Drug Discovery and Technology Development Incorporation. Uh, okay, well. Thank you very much for watching the video and staying with me for so long time.